So today we're going to talk about the um, Mashiach, yeah, and uh, we're going to talk about the language that we're going to be speaking about. In which language are we going to be speaking about? It's not about which language will we be using when Mashiach comes? Is it only Lashon Kaidish or all seventy languages that uh, English. exist will continue to be used the same way it's used in the time of Galos? Gonna happen? Huh? Any ideas? Uh-huh. Yiddish, Yiddish. Yiddish. <laughs> so there's a Pasik in Tzvanya that I'm yeah, being discussed. Like the who? The Samra, they're going to be in Yiddish. No Lashna Kedish. No Lashna Kedish. It's too close to Ebrez. Just... Yeah. Ki oz epoichel amim sofa bruda. I will transform all nations to speak to, to a sofa bruda. It says sofa bruda. What does sofa bruda mean? A clear language. So that doesn't, but the Pasuk doesn't spell out. Then it says, Likre kulam b'shem Hashem. Everybody will call the name of Hashem. Lo avde shchem echad. To serve Hashem uh, together, in un- one, one sh- shoulder, whatever. To, get, to serve Hashem as one. So what is this uh, Safa Bruda? This is the Pasik, which is the source of this question. How do you touch Safa Bruda? So if you look here in the Mepharshim, let's take a look what it says. The Mitzudas Tziyan says, Safa <clears throat> Bruda, Klape Shekaira Lashana Umais, um, the, the language of the nation, he says, um, Kaira lamulam lashana kaidesh, safa bruda unikia. Safa bruda refers to lashana kaidesh. Why? Because lashana kaidesh is a lashim bruda unikia. It's the purest and cleanest language. So, and he brings another pasuk actually to prove this, because in Yeshaya, when it talks about other languages, so there it says imke safa, which is a language which is. Um, I wouldn't use the term deep, but a language which is low, a lower language. So this is a language which is Bruda, as opposed to a low language. So Safa Bruda refers to Lashna Kaidish, which means when Mashiach will come, according to the Mitzudais, then all nations of the world, everybody will speak Lashna Kaidish. That's the chat of the yeah, says in the past in the continuations, Likre B'Shem Hashem, which yes. seems like specifically maybe regarding prayer, maybe. Regarding prayer. So you mean they'll continue talking in their own languages, yeah. but when, when it comes Hashem, to davening, then they're going to daven in uh, yeah, Likre B'Shem Hashem, it says. Or you could say what it means is, Lost of love, what will everybody be speaking right. to? The teichen of what people are going to be talking will be oh, yeah, kula, right. That's what I was thinking. From the mitzudas pashtus as mashma, that laosid everybody will be speaking lashna kaidish. What else? So let's take a look. What does the Eben Ezra say? Um, yes. So the Eben Ezra also says ze laosid. His posse goes on the Asad Lavoy. Valdas Rav Moshe, according to Rav Moshe, I'm not sure Rav Moshe, so it's the Rambam, or, Rav Moshe, or maybe the Ramban. Abay is Shani. This posse is not even talking about the Asad Lavoy. It's talking about the second base of Mikdash. He's Hapchu Lavid Hashem Levadoy, Besafa Bruda. What is Safa Bruda? Who Loshna Kaidish? Safa Bruda is Loshna Kaidish. Shaba Levado, Nikra Hashem Anichbar. It's only in Lashna Kaidish that you refer to Hashem with His holy name. That could be like what he said, that when they came to bring the carbon. When they came, then they spoke Lashna Kaidish, because there are okay. other languages, and that's for sure. If it's talking about Bayi Shein. Right. But the Shem yeah. So I say, he says, Yishapchu lavoid Hashem levadai. So the main Chilish is that everyone's going to serve Hashem. And when you serve so, Hashem, they're going to serve Bisafa Bruda. The service will be, they're going to daven or come to David to Bisafa Bruda. That's according to David Ezra. Okay, next, no, another one. The Radak. The Zak the Radak. Pirish Ha'amim Sheyishiru Acha Muhammad's Gaigu Mogik. The nations that will be left after Muhammad's Gaigu Mogik. So it's going on the Asad Lavai. 
Sfasa Marishayna, their original language, Epech Oisa Alei and Besafa Bruda, will be transformed to a Safa Bruda. What does that mean? So he clearly says, Safa Bruda means, Shelo Yitziu Besfasam Elekim Acherim. That they won't speak in their languages about other gods. They won't be speaking about Avedis so he says Safa Bruda is the content of what they're going to be talking oh, about. Okay. They're not going to be talking about Alekim uh, Kulam Yikru B'Shem Hashem. Everyone will be calling the, the name of Hashem. Zehu Safa Bruda. Safa Bruda is this, that they're going to call the name of Hashem. Like a Likre Kulam B'Shem Hashem in this Pasik is the meaning of what Safa Bruda is. It's not two separate things. Safa Bruda Kama and then Likre Kula B'Shem Hashem, a separate Indian. Likre Kula B'Shem Hashem is the, is the Piddish of Safa Bruda. Kamei Sha'ama V'Navu Ezecharia, V'yeyma Hu Yiyya, Avaya Chodesh Mayachod. Then Hashem will be one, His name will be one, that everybody will refer to the unity of Hashem. That's Safa Bruda. Then the Radak says, V'hachocham Rabbi Avram Ibn Ezrezal, Piddish. Yishap Cholavad Hashem Levadeh B'Safa Bruda, Hi Loshon HaKadosh, so the way he understood the Eben Ezra, it's mashma that the Eben Ezra is saying that Lavi, we will only, everybody, all nations, will only be speaking in Lashon HaKadosh. So that, those are the two Pirushim that you have over here. The Mitzudis, going back a second to the Mitzudis, um, yeah, I mean, I, I read before the Mitzudah's Tzien, the Mitzudah's David, there's two parts of the Mitzudah. He basically says the same thing. It's the same person? Yes. One is more um, uh, translation of words, uh, and one is more pshat. Uh -huh. So he just like he divided, right, different. he divided his Piddush into two. So in the Mitzudah's David, he says, Az safa brura, tumuras imke safa imam, instead of the the low languages that they have, reitz aloyma shi yedabru b'loshna kaidish, he clearly says the language is going to be replaced. So how is this going to happen? If you learn that the Pshad is that everyone's going to speak Lashon HaKadosh, it's going to happen B'derech Nes, it's going to happen B'derech, uh, they're going to learn it slowly, they're going to be so attracted to Yidin and to the Ebeshter that they're going to learn the language. How, how exactly is this going to happen? Oz huh? Epoch. In Israel now they have those classes, what are they called? Open. Open. There you go. <laughs> So everybody's going to learn Lashon Kedush. Okay, so there, the Rebbe spoke about this Indian also on two different occasions. Uh, the one was in the uh, Fabrengen of uh, Hanukkah Tovshinun. And there the Rebbe, it seems like, is Machria, the, the, the Rebbe accepts the opinion of uh, the Radak, that the language will not change Lashon Lovay. Everyone will continue speaking in the Shivam Lashon, and everyone, the Teichen of the Lashen, will be to call Hashem in their Lashen, not a Lekim Achedim. In a way, that's the ultimate... Oh, the Rebbe is Mazbid, in the whole Arichas of the Siche, that's the whole Kavana of the refinement that happens last love Not to move away from the Metzius of the Vel, just like it says, when you get to Teva Bechlau. The whole point of the Gilu last love is to bring the Gilu into Teva. It's the same with the languages, which is a reflection of Teva Bechlau. That uh, the Teva Ha'ilam will stay, the languages will stay, Elamaya will be used in a positive way. That's what the Rebbe's mask over there. But you could argue, Chayri, you could argue and say that the languages that exist amongst the nations are not the same, to te it's not exactly the same as it is uh, with, with Teva Ha'ilam. Teva Ha'ilam is something that's there from Bria, from, from Sheshish Mebreshis. Whereas the languages only started by Dera Floge, which is a result of a Chet. It's not a result of, it's not Teva Ha'ilam, it's a result of a certain Chet. Which means then, L'chayre, that the Shadish of the Ayin L'shaynis, of the 70 languages, comes from the union of Klippe. That's Tam Teva, it's an union of Klippe. Right. It's an union of Klippe, Lost of Love, Ruach, Atoma, Avim, and Oretz. Hashem removes all Toma, that should include that all languages will be banished. Which means that it's not going, I mean, if, if, if it says, Ruach Atom Avim and Oretz, and when Mashiach comes, when Gilei Lekus is revealed in the world, and all Klippe ceases to, to exist, so all the L'shaynis, Lost of Love, everything will return to the way it was before Deira Floge. It'll happen like, uh, you can say it'll happen automatically. Because the whole Metzias, the very existence, that there are other modes of communication besides L'shaynis, Kedish, is a result of the Chata, 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 Deira Floge, which was never fully 
rectified. The moment it will be, automatically everything will go back to Lashon HaKadosh. In other words, the Amos says it says that all other Lashonists, they, they, they come by Amos from Lashon HaKadosh. Elamai was nostalgical and it got changed and, and until it, it, it became divided into 70 languages. When everything goes back up to its Mokir, when the Chet of Adair uh, Flogge does not have its effect anymore, so with Mamela, everything goes back to Lashon HaKadosh. Even the alphabet is alphabet, all of base. Right. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different things. Even this, um, there's the famous, uh, I think it's a shalok that says, that this, that you have words in Taita that are in, in the Lash, that says, Anoichi is a Lash in Mitzri. Taitofa is a Lash in Anoichi, Lash in Mitzri. Yeah, it's a Zayar. And then the Rashi brings when you get to Toitofa is that it says Tatba Afriki right, Shtayim right. and so on and Yigar Saadusa yeah, and, and all these different words. So the Shalah says the Pshat is not that you have the words from other Lashainas that fell into Taita. It's not the Pshat. Mm-hmm. It's words of Lashon Kaidish that are in other Lashainas and got lost from Lashon Kaidish and are in other Lashainas. Became part of the African language, whatever, mm-hmm. Mitri. And it's, it's in Taita, it looks like it's Lashon Mitzri, but it's Be'emes, these are words originally from Lashon HaKadosh, because Be'emes, all the languages, all, everything comes from Lashon HaKadosh. LMI, some words were completely changed and some words weren't. It looks like it's part of Lashon Mitzri, but it's Be'emes, part of these languages. So that, part part huh? that part is not Kutu. No. Kutu. So... You can see that there's a svara, there's a very big svara to say that all the languages lost of love will be bottle. Uh, but on the other hand, on the other hand, um, I mean, you have this shaila not only benegayah to languages, you have this shaila benegayah to the existence of gayim bechlal. I mean, if you look in, the, in, in different medrashim, if you look at the simple pshat, what it says in different medrashim, it's mashma that lost of love, the karka kol b'neshes, or mochatz pasi mayav, that the lost of we will smash the heads of mayav and we will crush them, and the, that the goyim will not exist lost of love. Goyim get their chayes from gimel klipas at meis. What did happen, Tanya? We're learning these days. Is it all goyim? Is it only goyim that serve the desire? All goyim. All goyim. They get. It was a switch. The rat switch. I believe it first to all goyim. All goyim. They get their chayes from gimel klipas at meis. So the Rebbe has the whole sicha. Barichas about this, when you get the Goyim, Lassad the Lovay, Maskan of the Rebbe is, that's the... The what? You have to do Masraelam. Correct. And Chanami, right? Chassidu Masraelam is a different category. Even this that the Alter Rebbe says in Tani, Perik Aleph, that everything the Goyim do is like Armayu, the Mitla Rebbe says in Amayma, that it doesn't include Chassidu Masraelam. Right, but how do you know who's what? And Chanami, okay. Yeah. Kopanim, so... There was one time the Rebbe spoke about it, in Chanukah Tav Shinon. Huh? The of the in that sikha, in Hanukkah Tav Shinun, the whole sikha is based on the fact that the Ikir Habirur has to happen of the Pesach based on Mibachotz and the languages and the languages will be elevated and the, like the Radak. That Safa Brura means everybody will continue to talk in their yeah. language with Safa Brura. So there's a sikha about, about the Goyim. The in that sikha about the Goyim, the Rebbe's Maskan is that all the Goyim will continue to exist lots of love. Mm-hmm. Elamai, they will become so bottled to the Eden that it's as if they'll stop uh, existing because they're, they're going to be just shamashim to the Eden. It's all arichas. Then there was another time that Rebbe spoke about this where it was mashma that the Rebbe said differently. Pashas Mishpat and Tav Shinum Bey. There's a Ha'ara and a Sikha there. Where the Rebbe says that Lasid Lave will be only Lashna Kedish. Lasid Lave, the Rebbe was Machri according to I mean, most Pirushim we have in Ezra, in Tzudis, mm-hmm. looks like uh, that it will be only lost in the Lashon HaKadosh, lost in Lavei. So this that you say it's Klippa, what about Yiddish and Aramaic? Oh, so Yiddish and, and Lashon Arami, so it's considered to be a Memutza yeah. between Lashon HaKadosh and uh, the Shivim Lashonis. It's an interesting thing. There's uh, the Sikh and Chelek Chofal of Barichas about the subject, where the Rebbe says that Yiddish the fact that the Rabbeim spoke in Yiddish and all the Maimonim and everything, the Lashem have spoken Yiddish, as it says in Tanya, it's because it's considered to be on the Mutza between Lashon Kedish and the other Lashem. It's the same Tanya thing, Lashon Arami. Huh? There's one Yiddish word. Yeah. Um, and Lashon Arami also, Lashon Agamara, is considered to be on the Mutza. I didn't say like the Malachim don't understand Yeah, it's the one language you don't understand. Why? I'm looking to that, I'm not sure. 
Okay, so the Rebbe's Mitzayim in one of these sikhs, I remember which one it is, but the Rebbe's Mitzayim to a mime of the Tzemach Tzedek, where the Tzemach Tzedek talks about this Pasuk here also, Oz Epech Elam Mesof and the Tzemach Tzedek talks about the languages. And there, the Tzemach Tzedek explains, Tzemach Tzedek sort of asks a question. He starts off first saying that if you look in certain places, it's clear that Lashon HaKadosh is, is Kadosh. Lashon HaKadosh, it's a holy language. All other Lashonis are Klippah. He says that all, all languages are a gimel klipas atmeis mamish, lash narami is klipas noiga, and therefore it could be elevated, then it could be used in gemara. It's klipas noiga, but it's klipa. Samach tzedek. Samach tzedek. Neira neira teira on on nach over here on this pasuk in Svanya. All other lashonos are gimel klipas atmeis, so it can't be elevated. The chayda not. There were six languages that were. Transformed into Aramish. Um, uh, you mean in Taita? We have five or six languages which became Yiddish languages over the generations. Ah, so not only Yiddish. Uh, it's uh, Rambam. Was, Dino and, uh, and, uh, Rambam was written in Arabic and. Uh, and, and Mamish Dino. became Yiddish. They, I don't, they all had similar ideas to Yiddish. Yeah. There was a there special was dialect Rambam's, that they yeah. even spoke. Yeah, the dialect was all written in Russian Kurdish letters. Same system as Yiddish and Aramaic. Yeah, interesting. So we're in but I'm not sure if it's ever if the Rebbe <coughs> in that sikha says that the and other deiris, other languages are considered to be a mamutza. And the Sefer Rambam, all the other Sefer Rambam, all written in Arabic. Besides Sefer Ayad. Besides Sefer Ayad, all the other Sefer written in Arabic. Yeah. Also the Chayvus Sarvus, I think. Yeah, it was also not written in Russian Kurdish, correct? So when Vavu Gimel Kupis of Meis right now? Ah, huh? <laughs> by talking, he's saying in English. Yeah. So what is this? Ah? Huh? <laughs> yeah, That's why you're talking Kurdish. Then I've been one take in, I think it was in Tavshim Memches, if I bring it, I remember. And some of the, the Kates maybe, and that Kufa. The Rebbe said by Holsicher, but if I bring it then. They overheard, they overheard Bachran uh, right. speaking and learning in English. Exactly. In Russia, it would never happen or something, right? Yeah, that Bachran, and I'm reading Lenin's, I'm reading not in Yiddish. Interesting, we were coming to our Tevis. One of the things was there was talking to the Shivim Lash in Benacht, right? Yeah. That was one of the things, one of the things that, that happened, he said. Yeah. Ches yeah. Tevis happened? Ches Tevis. Ches, oh, it's today. Actually. Yeah, what? Yeah. The Targum. There's three days in a row of negative things. Mm-hmm. There, there was like a Kasha Hayyam Yisrael, Kayyam Shana Sabay Egel. One of them that was talking to the Translation. So the Tzavach that Maimir says, he asks a question. He says, on one hand, it says that the Lashayim is a klippe. On the other hand, he says, it says clearly that the, the, the Targumim are not klippe at all. Adarabah, the Targumim are a pirish. I mean, even the Targum on Teira. The Targum on Teira is a pirish on Teira. And he says, by, uh, by Moshe and Aaron. Moshe spoke in Lashayim Kedesh. And Aaron, Achicha, Yeh, and Yeviyecha. Aaron translated everything that Moshe Rabbeinu said. So, so what? Moshe Rabbeinu was speaking Kedusha and Aaron was speaking Klippa. Fakat! Aaron was masbir and explained whatever Moshe Rabbeinu said that Aaron, that, that Parik could understand. It's not Klippa. So how could you say it's Klippa? So the Tzavach Tzavik is masbir that the Emma says it's not Klippa. It doesn't mean Kepshute that all the languages are Klippa. Rather what it means is Loshon HaKadosh, Bechla Loshon, language, speech. What's the Shadish of Dibur? Malchus. In Sefir Islamayl, the Shadish of Dibur is Malchus. That's when the world was made. Malchus. Right, Malchus, yeah. exactly. That's what the Mammaris is Malchus. Lashon HaKadosh is a language, Malchus is Makabal directly from Chochmah. When, when Malchus, which is the last of the series, is Makabal from Chochmah, Chochmah is called Kadesh. In Zayah, Chochmah, Kadesh, Milo Begarme, Chochmah is Kadesh. When Malchus is Makabal from Kadesh, from Chochmah, then it's, it's, that's, that's what Lashon HaKadosh is all about. It's a holy language, it's Makabal directly from Chochmah. As opposed to as opposed to the, the other Indians languages, the other languages of Malchus are not Makal from Chokmah. Mm-hmm. The say that Ishtal Shkul says Malchus is Makal from Netzach Hayden, you say. Mm-hmm. So when Malchus is Makal from Netzach Hayden, you say, so that's the other languages. Adarabe, in other words, Lashon HaKadosh is unique in the sense that it's Makal directly from Chokmah. Chokmah is also Teda, no? Huh? Chokmah is also, is also he's Correct, correct, of course. I mean, but, but he's talking over here in the Sphiris now. That uh, when, the, when, the, when Malchus is Makabal directly from Chochma, that's Lashna Kaidish. Mashenk and all the other languages are Makabal from the regular Seder, from Netzach and Haid. Or he says that the furthest up that all the Lashanis are Makabal from is from Bina. From Bina, not from Chochma. 
So just, so just like we know what's Bina. Bina is explaining the point of Chochmah. The same thing, the Targum of other languages is explaining what it's written in Teir and Lashon HaKadosh. Other languages is a Pirish. Elamai, why, so why is it referred to as Klippa? She says, Lagabe Chochmah, Bina is referred to as Klippa. When you have Chochmah, which is, which is Kadesh over there, there's no Yenika Sachetzayin in Bechlal. It's not, there's no, no ability that should be any Yenika to Klippa. When it comes out into Bina, where there's Avonav Asage, where it's Vseichel Anushi, when things are explained in other languages, there there's a, there's a Yenika Sachetzayin. He also brings this that it says in many places, Al Tareva says this in Teira, that Lashna Kadesh is compared to a rock. Which is a creation by Deshamayim. And Lashon, all the other Lashayanis are compared to a Levena, to a brick, which is something which is created by Dei Adam. Right. Right, so when something is created by Dei Adam, automatically there is a, there could be a unique Sachitzayim. So the Lashon HaKadosh is the way it is in its source, where it comes from Chachma. All the other Lashayanis, it's not just a translation, you look with Pashtas at the other Lashaynas, it's the same as Lashna Kaidish. You could say in Lashna Kaidish Omar, you could say in the other languages, he said. It's the same thing, it's just a matter of a language. According to what the Tzemach Tzedek says, it's not the same thing, just a different language. Lashna Kaidish is Makaba from Chachma. All the other languages are Makaba from Bina. So the Tzemach Tzedek and, there. And lower. And lower, correct. Oh, yes, right. So the Tzemach Tzedek there says that La'asid Lobai. Chachma will be nizgala, the Kedusha of Chachma will be nizgala, and therefore all other languages will be bottled. Mm-hmm. Because Chachma, which will be nizgala, will be in everything. So everything will be Lash Nakaydish. Yeah, so if you look there, so if you look there, Lash Nakaydish, it's not 100% clear. There's a Shtikl Mashmah, in what the Tzemach Tzedek is saying, that even if you're going to learn like the Pshat of the Radak, that Lash Nakaydish, that even if you're going to learn like the Pshat of the Radak, that Lash Nakaydish, that other languages will remain, doesn't mean... It's, it's not a stira to this idea that Lashon HaKadosh will be the Ica language. The point is that La'asad Lavi, the Kedusha of Lashon HaKadosh, will be Nizgala into the other languages. So the other languages today is a Mechitza. Lashon HaKadosh is Makabah from Chachma, and the other languages are Makabah from Bina, not higher than that. La'asad Lavi, Chachma will open up, and the other languages will also be Makabah from the same place. That's the pshat that you say that Lashon Lavi will remain. So they will also be considered Lashon Hakodesh. They, they will be Nisala to be holy, to have the same kedusha as Lashon Hakodesh. Yeah. Which that means with the Ruch right? Yeah. So not that the other languages will become bottle. We will use other languages, but they'll be the other languages will be elevated to Chachma. That's the way that the Matzedek teaches it. Yeah. Okay. Just to add one more point, as as usual, I mean this is something that's always. A possibility, when you get to all these things we speak about, that it's possible that there will be more than one Tkufa regarding this Indian. Maybe at one Tkufa there will be a certain Aliyah, and then at another Tkufa it will be only Lashon It's always possible that there will be different Tkufas in this Indian. So both Kudoshin could be true.